Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm an assistant professor at Stanford in the computer science and electrical engineering departments. I'm interested in how we might allow robots to develop broadly intelligent behavior. My work studies both basic machine learning algorithms and applications of machine learning to robots, especially robot arms. For example, you can consider the problem of having a robot pour water from a pitcher into a cup. We studied how to have a robot learn to control the motors in its arm in order to complete that kind of task through imitation or through trial and error. We also work on addressing fundamental shortcomings of existing machine learning methods, like developing algorithms for adapting to a new scenario, like a different kind of water pitcher, and ideally adapting with a very small amount of data. Robotics is a really hard problem. Many of the applications that we work on, like robots being helpful in homes or other situations, are a long way away. However, some of the algorithms that we've made are being used in other applications, like in education. For example, one research project that we worked on showed how a machine learning system can help teachers give detailed feedback to students in large online courses. One project we are currently working on is to train robots to unpackage grocery items. For example, opening a box of cereal by slipping your finger under the flap and tearing open the plastic bag is actually extremely complicated. Or even just unwrapping a piece of candy can be very difficult. We're interested in studying how robots can solve these delicate tasks because they require the robot to carefully look at what it's doing and because it's extremely difficult to simulate these kinds of physical interactions with candy wrappers or plastic bags. We've all seen flashy demos of robots doing really impressive stunts, but these demos are brittle. They're designed to work well in one very carefully set up scene. The future of robotics is one where robots can still work if you change the environment a little bit. For example, if you move some of the objects or give the robot a new object. Either the robot should be able to generalize directly to that new environment, or it will be able to adapt quickly on the fly. One of my favorite spots on campus is the Stanford pools. I used to swim competitively and I still enjoy swimming regularly. If you're interested in learning more about our research, check out our lab website.